So we've now got the machine over our sample panel. We're just using the short length of Kingspan RW panel. Uh, obviously, in terms of machine balance, uh, we're positioning the machine roughly in the middle of the panel. The idea is when we lift it, it will lift it relatively flat. Uh, if you remember, these basic configurations are suitable for roof pitches up to 20 degrees. So it is possible to induce an angle on the panel as you lift it by offset, offsetting the position of the machine towards the top of the panel. It's really a matter of experimentation on the first panel lift uh, to determine how far off centre you need to be. But once you've got that position, you can mark that position on subsequent panels, position the machine in the same place, and as you lift it, it will lift on your desired pitch. But that's only possible up to 20 degrees. If your roof pitch is higher than 20 degrees, as mentioned earlier, you need to speak to us to make sure you've got the right equipment. So we're hovering over the panel, and we're just going to lower the machine now onto the panel surface. Now it's pretty obvious where the suction pads locate in the first and the third valley. Um, the seals are able to uh, mold over the stiffening ribs, so it's not particularly important where in the valley the pads locate, but again, it's a matter of balance. If they're spaced evenly over the panel, when it lifts, it will lift flat. You need to make sure that all the weight of the machine is bearing down onto the uh, panel so that the suction pads are compressed onto the panel surface. When you're happy with that, you just simply operate suction by moving this lever into the green zone. I'm gonna put the camera around the front of the machine and if you watch the vacuum gauge as I do that, So it's quite a simple process. I'm just going to release suction to show you how to release suction. You pull the pin, slide the lever into the red zone, and again, I'll send, go around to the front of the machine and show you the vacuum gauge. So you see, as soon as I pull the pin and move the lever into the red zone, the vacuum gauge dropped down into the red zone and eventually to zero, okay? The machine at that point vented the vacuum and lost suction on the panel. And obviously, you don't release suction for that reason until you're happy that the panel is safe, in position, and retained with a fixing or two. So I'm going to apply suction again and show you the vacuum gauge. Okay, so as we apply vacuum, the needle quickly swung through the red zone and into the green zone. If you notice, as soon as it entered the green zone, the red light and the warning siren went off and the green light came on. The vacuum continued to build until it reaches this level, which is around 0.73. And that's the highest level it will go to. And as the vacuum naturally bleeds and you always lose some vacuum, particularly on profiled or leather grain panels, as the vacuum level drops down to around 0.66, the vacuum pumps will kick in again and top up the vacuum. So those vacuum pumps you hear could operate at any point when you're halfway to the roof or through, halfway through a lift, but don't worry, that's doing exactly what it's meant to do, and that is topping the vacuum levels up. The main thing is, if the red light is on and the warning siren's uh, audible, don't lift. If the green light's on, you can lift. So now we've got suction on the panel, the next thing you do is raise the panel a foot or so above the stack below it. And then before you go any further, you apply the secondary safety straps around the panel at each end. Now these secondary safety straps are compulsory. They are mandatory, they're not optional. This is part of the lifting process when you're lifting overhead. So the straps just loop around the panel. You can adjust the length. It's a one-time adjustment. Once you've adjusted it for the first panel, it should be the same for the subsequent panels. You need to make sure that it's quite snug around the panel, but there's still enough excess to get it in and out of the locking pin. Okay, and once you're happy and you've got the safety straps on both ends of the panel, you can then continue the lift up onto the roof. And when you receive the panel on the roof, 
when you come you know within a few inches of the purlins you know stop the uh, maneuvering release the safety straps by pulling the pin like that just pull the strap away from the panel joint so it's not fouling anything and then continue to position the panel when it's in position and you're happy with it and you've got to fix it in there you can release suction as i've showed you before by pulling the pin and operating the lever into the red zone. So that's a very quick introduction to lifting a roof panel with a standard uh, roof configuration. Um, the machine itself is fairly easy to operate. Um, we're going to drop it back into the cradle now and I'm going to just talk in a separate video about a few other features of the machine.